Yo, welcome back to 19 It's a girl life full team. I'm back with another video and today's video I'm gonna be telling you some of my favorite little people shows But if you haven't already make sure you subscribe down below and yeah, we're gonna get started So the first little people show I would definitely recommend is the little couple if you don't know what that is Obviously, it's a show about Jen Arnold and her husband Bill Klein and actually Dr. Jen Arnold is adopted if you guys haven't known that and actually Dr. Jen Arnold I believe if I'm not mistaken she's probably the first little person to ever be cancer um I think she definitely deserves a plaque for that but you know I don't know if that's true or not but yeah she's basically a doctor and she lives with her husband her husband's more like an entrepreneur so he works for himself probably and they like own the store like up at the store and yeah, they basically lived in Texas. Um, currently, they don't live in Texas right now. They actually live in Boston right now because of her job. But they lived in Texas and was working there. Um, the reason why they lived in Texas is because Dr. Jen Arnold was working there. And yeah, that's why they live in Texas. But basically, they're basic they started as a family of two. And then later on, they wanted to have kids. But because of her type of dwarfism, it was really difficult for her to conceive a child. So what they did was um was adopt and even with surrogacy they couldn't do it because apparently the surrogacy lost like the baby apparently didn't conceive properly so they adopted two kids they adopted well um from china and zoe from india so after that they felt like their family was complete and they just wanted to raise children with dwarfism um what i really like about the show the show is very dynamic i think it shows a positive aspect on dr jen arnold's life and how she's a uh, working in the medical field and i think it'll show other little people courage that you can work in the medical field it doesn't matter what size you are and what i like about dr jen arnold that she has a different type of dwarfism it's not like a common side like a conchophasia whatever but she has a different type of dwarfism which she's like a doctor and i believe she's a neonatologist so she takes care of babies so i really like that show a lot um i watched the show ever since i was young so that's why I pretty much wanted to go to the medical field, so that's why I'm going to be a pharmacist. So, yeah, um, it's one of my favorite shows, and I highly recommend it. If you haven't seen it, it's a really, really great show. I'm going to take it to the next show. So, the next show is Seven Little Johnsons. If you haven't watched it, I highly should. You highly should, because it is a really good show. So, basically, Amber and Trent, um, they are married. Obviously, they have children. They have, like, five children. Um, I think two of them are biological and the rest are adopted so all know is from russia i believe um emma and alex um i think they're from china if i'm not mistaken i think they are i just don't remember it right now but and the rest of the kids they have like um elizabeth and jonah they're from they're from their parents um yeah so they live in georgia i don't remember what type of like what area in georgia they live in but they in Georgia, so um, Amber is actually a teacher. Um, Amber have had a lot of careers. Um, I think what it is, she was trying to discover it herself. But she's currently a teacher, and she's actually getting her bachelor's in early childhood. I think that's cool. Um, I remember in the episode, I think Trent was like a landscaping guy at this college campus. Um, but then he transferred over to selling cars because his son was selling cars. But I really like this show dynamic because it's very dynamic, like little couple. But, you know, they have their own kids and they're all little people. And I really like what stuff they do on the show because, you know, they show their houses modified and stuff like that. But they don't really like anything stop them, which is really important. And I feel like if you watch these type of shows, it really shows that you could be anything. And they also teach important values to the children, you see? Most of the kids have moved out already, which I think that's amazing to see that, like, you know, the kids are moved out there, they're living on their own, which is really, really cool. And, yeah, I think it's a really, really great show. I recommend it. Obviously, it's on TLC, and it's actually back now. But I really like it. It's a really good show, but I'm going to take you to the next show. So, the next show is A Little People Big World. If you have not watched the show, you really should. So, Amy Roloff and Matt Roloff were together for quite some time. But obviously they got a divorce after that. But yeah, so Amy Roloff is a mom. Um, she only has one son that is a little person like her and my and but the rest are average, right? They live in Oregon. Um 
really the jobs were pretty much working on the farm i think i don't think they had like a job like working for people but i think it's pretty cool you know and i like the show a lot because it's very different you know they show them like they show like basically they have one child with dwarfism but the rest of the kids are average height which is really important to see i like to see stuff like that very dynamic so i guess it's really important to show people that the little people come in different shapes and sizes and yes you could be a little person and conceive a child who's average height if you guys didn't know that so i think that was really cool to see and yeah they just pretty much show their lives how they live with dwarfism living on a farm which i think it was pretty pretty cool and yeah and i really like the show a lot and i recommend it um i just like how it's different from all the other little people shows i i watched like from seven little john's to the little couple so it's not that they just have a child with dwarfism they have other kids who are average height which is pretty cool and some of the parts of their house is modified some of the parts is not because obviously they have children who are average height so it's kind of hard to ma like modify houses like pretty much i'm in the same boat as them because i can't modify everything in my house because you know i don't have average size people at my house so technically i'm the only little person in my family so i think it's really cool to see that but yeah i'm gonna take it to the next show so the next show is the little woman atlanta um if y'all watch it you really really should little woman atlanta is basically like a spinoff like from the little housewife the real housewives of atlanta so if you haven't watched it you really should but basically it's like i believe it's like six ladies if i'm not mistaken showing how they live in atlanta you know what stuff they do you know it's a really good show i think it's really important to show people you know you know little little women can do anything so yeah it's a really good show it's basically like a spinoff like from the real housewives of atlanta if you haven't watched the real housewives of atlanta just think of little women atlanta that's how i would always say but it's a really good show i feel like they show how they live with the dwarfism and how they deal with society too you know i think that's important as well so yeah so those are some of my shows of little so those are some of the shows i watch you know um there's more obviously like little women la little women like i'm not gonna go into depth on each of them because they're pretty much the same thing but yeah it's a really good show all those shows are pretty good so if you want to learn more about dwarfism go watch those shows i just mentioned right now but yeah so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to my channel down below. And yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.